What's up everybody? So this review has been long awaited. You know, you guys are dragging me in some of my comments. Like you guys would pop up on some of my videos and be like, bitch, where the fuck's that laundry service album review? And here it is, it is here now. So first of all, can we just look at this per I mean honestly, legendary album. Fucking even even the pictures, girl, what the fuck? She was serving like iconic. Oh my god, look how hot. Everything from the look to the attitude she was serving to the music videos, everything about laundry service and the whole like era around it was absolutely amazing. I think we can all agree. So we're gonna go track by track as always and here we go. Okay, bitch. Objection tango. First of all, that intro. Like how theatrical, how amazing, how, what is that? I don't know, tango? Argentinian? Argentinian? Is that where that comes from? I don't know where the tango originates from, but bitch, this whole fucking song. The attitude, the lyrics, the fact that she, I was just looking through the booklet and I saw that she fucking wrote the whole song and produced it by herself. Like there was some co-production, but pretty much she did a, most of this album, which is amazing. So what I feel about this song is that it's literally probably one of my favorite Shakira songs. Like to me, it's better than whenever, uh, what is it? Whenever, wherever. Sorry, bitch. It really is. And I feel like this should have been like a number one smash. Like I'm pissed that whenever, wherever was the big hit of this album because this one is better to me. That guitar. The whole tango feel, the music video, and how about that fucking bridge? It's so psychotic. Like, as she says, it's psychotic. Like, literally, I picture her in the video where she's like, bum, 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 like being crazy. Oh my god, that shout. Everything about this is probably one of my favorite Shakira songs. Or is my favorite. Like, I'm sorry. How do you guys, tell me this verse whenever, wherever. Tell me which, which one you guys like more. And also, I actually love the translation of it. I think the Spanish version is a little better, actually. Like, it's more, it's more shocky. It just flows better for me. But obviously, English, Spanish, it both slays. Amazing song. Totally amazing. Okay. Underneath Your Clothes. Oh my God, beautiful song. All my clothes go high. I love her vocals on it. That's one. Two. The melody, bitch. The melody of the verses and the chorus. It's like, to me, it just sounds like a classic song. You know what I mean? Like, the first time you hear it, it's like one of those songs that you can't get out of your head ever. And it's, so, it's just beautiful. And I also live for the bridge and the whole shouting. That, those instruments in the background. The horns. The horns are in the bridge. I can't do it. I wish that there was more of them throughout the song, right? And when she does it on the tour of the Mongoose, I was just watching that DVD the other night. Oh my god, I live for the, the live rendition of this. Mm -mm, when, when she does the bridge, but it kind of sounds like babyish, like she's doing this childish little voice, and then like, the whole like, breakdown of it. Oh my god, I live for it. A perfect hit, amazing. Okay, we all know whenever, wherever is fucking amazing. The second it starts, you're just like, Like, come on, bitch, the second it starts, like, you're just so ready for it. And the lyrics. Okay, yeah, I was saying that Objection is better. I mean, it's kind of hard to say, I guess. No, I, I don't know. It's hard to say because this one is so, I don't know, so iconic, so interesting. What are these instruments? What is this here? Boom, boom. Like, literally, I don't know any, any instruments that are in her songs because she uses so many different types that I never know what's going on. But... The breast, the breast lyric. Also, I feel like there's another lyric in this song. It's not just the breast, we all know the breast and the, the mountain lyric, but there's like other lyrics in this that I really like. And I don't fucking remember, but. <laughs> la, 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 la. That is iconic right there. Just that la, 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 la part, iconic. Music video, iconic. Tour, tour of the mongoose with the fucking chandelier on her head, iconic. So, pretty much a perfect song. And I live for her ad libs at the end. Let me just listen to it real quick. Come on, girl, get to it. Here's coming. I love that part. I don't know why I live for it so much, but I love it. So right now we're three for three. Literally perfect, like, an amazing opening to the album. 
Okay, rules. Okay, I actually love this song, and I say actually because I feel like when I was little, this was this song was like not my jam for some reason, but like now I fucking li live for it. Maybe, I don't know. Something about the chorus is a little off for me. Maybe that's why I don't like that much about it, but I still love it. Although it is my least favorite song on the album. This is where we hit the mark where I have to pick my least favorite. That would be this. But I love the I love the line condemned to me. I'm like, yes, bitch, we are condemned to you. Oh. And I yeah, I love it. I love the guitaring. Something is missing from the chorus, but I'm gonna love it anyway. Living for the guitar during the bridge as well. But when she performed it on the tour of the mongoose, that's when I really it made me love it more, honestly. How do you guys feel about that song? For me, it really is my least favorite, but it's a good song. Okay, the one. This song to me is like so underrated. I would put this right up there with um, Underneath Your Clothes as one of her better ballads. And I'm happy they chose it as a single because it really is so good. The instrumentation, the guitar, the lyrics. This is the way she says something about a thong, right? She's like, bitch. Um, thongs, right? Let me look at the lyric booklet real quick. And I love this. Oh my god, a beautiful song. But let me find those lyrics real quick. Yeah, the kitchen phobia, bitch. That, to buy more thongs and write more happy songs, yes. She's being real cute with that one. Yeah, this song's real cute and I absolutely love it. And the ending. Those high-pitched notes, bitch, she's fucking me up on this song. Those ad-libs, she really slayed that song. And I'm really pissed that a lot of people don't seem to like it. Or, I don't know, for me, really, it's one of her be better ballads. So, alright, next. Ready for the good times. Boom, boom. This song is very different from the rest of the album, even though it has that rock feel as well. It's giving me funky, groovy... For some reason, it reminds me of the 70s. I don't know why. It's not really even serving anything 70s, but maybe this. It's just very funky, it's very cheesy. Cheesy in a good way, you know what I mean? Maybe, because again, I just watched the DVD, I'm thinking of the performance. First of all, she slayed that fucking performance. But I think of cheese because she has all those hippie signs and the peace signs. But I fucking love this, and I think it should have been a single, definitely. And I, I feel like the song really gets into it after the bridge. Right? Like during the last chorus. It's definitely a fun song. A very fun song. The funkiest one on the album. And it's so different. Like, I don't even know how to categorize it. It's like rock, but it's like psychedelic, I guess. I don't know. I really like that one though. Fool. Bitch. Bitch, 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 I fucking love this song. Mm -mm. The lyrics. Let me get those, let me get that booklet out real quick. Just because, honestly, her lyrics slay. Just a fool. When she says, bitch, where the fuck is it? Yes. The, the metaphor part, I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know why I love that part so much. Wait, where the fuck is that? That's not even here. That's Poem to a Horse. Oh my god, I'm a flop. Bitch, I need to edit this whole video because I just embarrassed myself. But I love the chorus to this. It's so catchy, right? The souls of your shoes. That whole eh. How catchy. This could have been a single too, bitch. Are you kidding me? And then this little breakdown right here. And you know what? She did the... Since she produces it, I know that she's telling these bitches how to do this. She's like, give me those notes right there. You know what I mean? She really hits the spot on all these rock songs. Love. Love Fool. And Tedejo Madrid. <laughs> that chorus. This chorus is absolutely amazing. It's so catchy. I've never heard anything more catchy in my life. Don't you guys agree? And I know you guys, like, a lot of us hate it because she performs on every tour and we're sick of it. We're fucking over it. But that guitar playing, that, that harmonica on the bridge, look at that harmonica. 
and you know she's playing it because she loves that harmonica. Then that final, honestly, this song, the chorus to me, it's just I don't even know what to do with it. It's like so good, right? Come on, bitch. Now, let me say one thing though, bitch. What she needs to do with this song is she needs to rename it Tadejo Barcelona, bitch. Because we're sick of you being in Barcelona. We're sick of it. We're fucking done with it. You could say goodbye to Madrid, but you could say goodbye to Barcelona as well. That's what she needs to do. I'm just gonna throw that out there because we all know it's true. That's what she needs to do, a cover version of it. Okay, next. Poem to a Horse, which I was just talking about before. This is the best song on the album with the rock songs. Like, it's the best rock song on the album. Do we agree with that? And I remember when I was little, when I got this album, I was legit like six years old. And I was looking, and I would never listen to the song because I was like, Poem to a Horse? What the fuck is this bitch talking about? And now, as a grown, sophisticated person, I'm amazed. With your that pre-chorus, amazing. Now the lyrics, as I was saying, <laughs> bitch, as I was fucking up before. Love the meta, the sounds like a cheap metaphor. I don't know why I love that line so much. I just love that. And then the whole, I'd rather eat my soup with a fork. Like, what is she talking about, girl? It's just such an odd thing to say. Like, who even thinks of that? But yeah, it's perfect. You know what I mean? And she's talking about being a fucking cab driver, right? Like, oh my god. Although, oh, I I really like um, the live version of this a lot more than the actual album edition, even though they both slay, but when she goes live, she does these like different um, arrangements that just really fuck me up every time. But I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, hydroponic pot. What the fuck is that? Can someone leave, leave a comment down below if you know what that is? I really don't know what that means or what that even is. But I fucking love this song and I wish the live was this. Because when she does that like growl, you know that like high pitched like cat, like it literally sounds like a meow except like singing wise. And when she's lying down and she like has her feet on the microphone stand, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, amazing. An amazing song. Okay. The last song on the album, besides the uh, um, translations. Que me quieres tu? Again, this is what another song that I never listened to when I was little because it was Spanish, so I was like, I don't fucking know. But once I started taking Spanish class in seventh grade, girl, I was like, let me fucking listen to this. And then I was slayed. I was like, how dare me not have heard this before? The verses. So, so beautiful. But then that chorus, that's when it really gets good. Wait, I skipped the chorus. I should have. That little build up. Mm -mm. So cute. Actually, I'm not even sure what the song is about. Let me quickly look at the lyrics. Do you guys love this song? Because to me, one of her better ballads. And I've never seen her like talk about it or anybody talk about it, honestly. Why not? Boom, boom, boom. Every time. That gets me so good. I don't know why. But let me look at these lyrics real quick. Bitch. I don't know what that means. Que me quedes? Doesn't that mean I stay? Like, quedo means stay, I thought. I stay for you, maybe? To abrazo? You hurt me? Y el beso que inventas cada día. And the kiss that you invent every day. Okay, so I guess she's saying, I don't know, honestly. This guy must be fucking her up and she's still staying with him. That's what I'm gonna get from that. Not really sure. But a beautiful song. From a beautiful fucking album, bitch. Are we kidding me? Wow. Okay, wow. What can I say about this album in conclusion? Clearly, I love it. Honestly, there's not like a bad song. There's literally not one song that I even skip. I said my least favorite was Rules, but I never skip it. It might be my least favorite, but it's fucking amazing still. All of them. It's just 10 perfect tracks. I'm gonna say my favorites are Objection, Underneath Your Clothes Whenever Wherever, The One, Fool, Te Dejo Madrid, and Poem to a Horse. Pretty much the whole album, but those are my my total favorites. Ready for the Good Times is not one of my favorites, actually, which is like, I know a lot of people really love that one, but it's not one of my favorites. But honestly, it all fucking slays. So let me know your favorites. Let me know your least favorites. Do we agree rules? Honestly, I hope someone agrees with me because I don't know what it is about that one, but something's off about it. But, um... 
Also, let me know how you feel about the translations. Because te aviso, te anuncio, when she is so, like, aggressive, the way she says it, that is way better in Spanish. Because it's more like, like, bitch, I warn you, I'm announcing to you, like, she's coming after you. You know what I mean? So, I love that. Suerte, I'm over. I don't like that translation. I English is better. And then eyes like yours is cute, but obviously the Spanish one is better. So, yeah, let me know your favorites, your least favorites, and, um... Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we're gonna do Donde Están Los Ladrones next week or whenever we do it. Overall, this album is a fucking five stars for me because it's amazing. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments how you feel.